We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Another cone zone has begun on the east side. Single lane restrictions in both directions has begun between Sunset and Wyoming on the 95. That's expected to go through at least mid-August. Luckily, the uh, the construction on um, Summerlin Parkway between uh, the 215 and Anasazi, that actually ended early. Wow. So it's not all Good losses. Job. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they needed the cones. Yes. It's, yeah. Really, it's a shell game. The whole thing is a shell game. Uh, Nevada State College, well, that could be un- uh, Nevada State University. One step closer. Uh, Nevada State College, by the way, based in Henderson. They got approval from the System of Higher Education Board to change their name. Now it goes up to Carson City. They get to change law to allow that change to take <laughs> yeah. place. By the way, like, I just don't understand why Carson City is allowed to just like, hey, we're just going to be here once every two years. <laughs> yeah. like, what if something changes and we need to change the law now? Well, I'm, you got to wait. We're on vacation. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> we're on summer vacation yeah. till next summer. <laughs> Uh, the motion didn't have universal support, but UNLV President Keith Whitfield, uh, along with many others, signed a letter of support for the change. So that's good. I mean, cool. education, it, it would be weird if UNLV was like, no, we should be the only university. Right. Or, uh, mm-hmm. You know, that's it's, we need the education. We need to. And frankly, I think if you see university in the name, chances are that person, once they graduate, could be paid more. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. What's Who the knows? difference between a college and university? Is there a difference? I don't know. I have no idea. Neither one. Hmm. Hmm. Google it later. Yeah. Uh, we told you last week, Siegfried and Roy's Jungle Palace home was on the market for $3 million. That home, while large, was a bit dated. We were already thinking about all the walls that we'd knock down <laughs> and all the floors that we would replace. And, and the bathrooms. The bathrooms. And, and the, the kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. Well, George and Brett Carden were probably listening to the show that day. They were the owners of a circus. They stepped in. They bought the house at full price, and they intend to keep the property as true to form as when the duo lived there. So there you go. Now you know. Happy ending. Good for them. Uh, speaking of magicians, David Blaine got injured during his Resorts World show during the weekend, dislocating his shoulder after doing a fall from several stories high into a bed of cardboard boxes. Medical staff worked to get his shoulder back into the socket before the show could continue. And it was like not just medical staff. It was like people from the audience. <laughs> Does so anyone odd. know how to fix a shoulder? Yeah, like what the heck? I, you would <laughs> assume that he'd have somebody on his team that like can do all of those things because he does all of those things, you know, like, yeah, so weird. I don't want to be this guy. I think it's a work. I think the whole thing's a work. In other words, in, in wrestling terms, I think it's fake. I think it's, he's pretending he's doing it. It's planned. I don't I, like other than that, like, oh, I accidentally did this. Oh. Yeah. Like, on, yeah. I thought that too. As soon as I was like, it's probably part of the but show. But then I'm also not falling 85 feet from the rafters. Right. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Clark County, putting the call out to the community for CASA volunteers. CASAs are court appointed special advocates that help advocate for children in foster care. Sometimes if there's no CASA, what happens is the kids go in front of a judge alone. I can't. It makes me so sick. That that is terrible. So sad. Uh, so yeah, a CASA, it doesn't take a lot of your time. There is some training that's involved, but uh, I know some people that are CASAs that are very, very happy that they are. So there you go. Please consider doing that. Hey, what a weekend for the Golden Knights. Jonathan Quick got his first shutout as a Golden Knight on Friday with a 4-0 win against the Hurricanes. Uh, on Saturday, and then Sunday, yesterday, against the Blues, they uh, beat them. There mm-hmm. we go. 5-3 yeah. final. They're off to Philly to face the Flyers tomorrow. Finally, <laughs> I just love reporting on it. The XFL's Vegas Vipers fall to 0-4. <laughs> so sad. 0-4. Oh, oh, 32-18 loss to the D.C. Defenders. Usually they have the lead at halftime. This time they even bothered. They did even no, do yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna, but this is great because... This Saturday is going to be a huge game. Vegas returns home to the bastion of football, Cashman Field, to face the other winless XFL team, the Orlando Guardians, for the loser bowl. Yeah, there we go. I am really pumped for this. <laughs> if we could get, but if we, if we're the only loser. If we're the only team with no wins, I will lose it. (laughs) (laughs) 